Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you about Home tab, exploring Home tab in Microsoft Excel 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, exploring Home tab in Microsoft Excel 2010. And here, this is a Home tab. Whenever you open now Excel, by default, Home tab is active, which consists of different groups like clipboard, fonts, alignment, numbers, styles, cells and editing. Let me see one by one. So exploring clipboard groups which consist of cut, copy and format finds. And next is exploring font group so which consists of font family, font size, increase size and decrease size. It's a font color, background color, it's a table, it's a bold, italic and underlined and exploring alignment. So these are the various kinds of alignments, so orientation, so increase and decrease space and web text and merge cells exploring numbers and groups where we can have our numbers or date time or currency so dollar percentage so increase decimal so decrease decimal or increase decimal and uh, exploring styles groups so conditional formatting so styles conditional formatting format at tables and cell styles we'll see one by one in practical and last comes your exploring cell groups so how to insert a cell delete a cell and how to format it and how to hide out to product everything comes into format and exploring editing group which consists of auto sum fill clear sort and filter and find select so these are the various groups we are going to see under our own tab now i'm going to open microsoft excel so whenever you open Microsoft Excel, you can able to see by default Home tab is active. This is called as Home tab, which consists of clipboard, so paste, cut, copy, and format pines, and font, so font family, so font size, increase and decrease, bold, italic. So bottom border. So this one is a fill color, and this one is a font color, and this is an alignment group which consists of alignments, top alignment, and next comes your middle alignment. So bottom alignment and text left alignment and center alignment and right text alignment and this is orientation where we can have a different types of orientations as and some decrease indent and increase indent and web text merge in center which will be having various options merge across merge cells and unmerge cells and this is a number this is a dollar so where we can able to change the currencies and percentages and commas and uh, increase decimal and uh, decrease decimal so here we can able to see different types of uh, formats like number currency accounting short date long date time percentage and fraction and scientific so next comes your style is a conditional formatting and uh, format as tables and cell styles and insert cell and this one is delete cell and format cell and last comes your editing groups auto sum fill clear sort and filter find and select so these are the things we are going to see right now in this session so before that I am going to create a table uh, a small table which consists of uh, a name and subjects like Mac and six chemistry and uh, computer science so in case of computer science you can able to see it comes in two cells so use the option called as select this and web text which comes in a single within a single cell okay and then and select everything and give app text so which comes in a single cell within a single cell and last is physics max physics chemistry computer science and let us say english okay so i'm going to enter some values right here let us say one two two so i'm going to select this up to 10 values let us say this one is a a and this one is b uh, B okay B C C D 
the okay so I'm going to give some mark let us say 89 and uh, 85 78 and 45 56 some random values I'm going to give just fill the cells okay and I'm going to enter physics marks some marks as you like you can able to fill it okay again do it do the same for chemistry marks okay and computer science okay let it be right here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and copy paste it some values from right here so you just select this and go to cut sorry you make it copy and come right here and paste it right so I'm going to copy this one copy I click here and paste it so now what I'm going to do is so here I am going to make some arrangement that is I am going to change the font to Quantiqua let's say size is 12. So I am going to copy this so format paint just copy the format and I am going to paste to remaining things okay see now this is called as a use of format paint which is used to format only this format one which is used to copy only the format not the content so again I'm going to do some cut copy paste shortcut is control C and so something like this I'm going to do the same okay fine so now you have created everything so you have left this thing so I'm going to select this I'm going to copy this format painter and I'm going to paste to this okay fine so now I am going to make this alignment so I'm going to form it as a cell so make it all borders okay so I'm going to make this as bold and make it this bold if you want to oh, italic make it italic or underline so if you need some colors different colors you can change the colors okay and if you want to give some background colors to this yes you can give this some background colors okay so now I'm going to change the values okay so now you want to make the center alignment so here go to center alignment so this is called a center alignment just make it center and you also make it the center and now what I'm going to do is so I'm going to select this this values and I'm going to make it as numbers so if you give numbers you can able to see it comes in to decimal point if you want to increase the decimal point or decrease it so increase the decimal point yes you can able to see which increases or decreases the decimal point right so now I want to make this up to this so here merge and center now the cell will be merged I'm going to find out the total and again I'm going to I want to make this so select merge and center I'm going to find out average okay before that right so you merge and paste this too and you imagine paste this two so I'm going to find out the total and I'm going to find out the average okay so I need to, to format paint and okay see now you have copied this it's very simple now I want to see the conditional formatting so go into conditional formatting before that you select all the cells you want to conditional format it and highlight the cells with the rules 
so greater than so I want to greater than 80 and how to highlight red fill okay so now you can able to see so the cells are highlighted because this values are greater than 80 and I'm going to select this and highlight cells less than let us say less than 50 let us say uh, green with dark test see this are the values uh, which is less than 50 so this is how you want to do the conditional formatting and let us say equal to right if values equal to 90 I'm going to fill with a custom border so let us say fill with the color okay so I think no 90 values there okay so now I'm going to do for conditional formatting and between so 90 to 99 uh, go to custom format I'm going to use uh, a different color okay so it's a none press ok and press ok so you can able to see the values between 90 to 99 is highlighted so this is how you want to use the conditional formatting and now I'm going for table alignment so format as table so if you want to change this styles like this okay you can able to align it okay so you just select the table you want to align and table style so header first row and this is a first row first column right you can able to do these customization as you like and convert into range and remove duplicate and pivot table so this this are the various design options which comes under the table okay and next comes okay next if you want to sell styles let's see sell style you just select this and go to home and cell styles see here you can able to have different kinds of cell styles as you like you can able to do it for example I want I want to have a cell styles for this let's say like this let's say this and for this I want to have different kinds of cell styles let us say like this and for this I want to have different kinds of styles like this or this or this okay so you can have different kinds of cell style for example if you want to insert a cell so go to insert so either you can insert a row right or else if you want to insert a column you can insert it so we'll be having a redo sorry undo control Z and if you want to delete if you want to delete this column you just select the column and delete so delete the table column so automatically it will be deleted so how to undo this control Z is a shortcut and format and if you want to format your row and row fit height and everything so let us say select this format column width let us say 53 or let us say 0.5 see you can able to format as you like okay so we can able to format it as we like and <laughs> next comes your column with and visibility if you want to hide the rows you can able to hide the rows and if you want to unhide it hide it hide the rows if you want to unhide it unhide the rows so where we can able to hide or unhide using this option format and you, if you want to rename the sheet here is the option to rename the sheet or move the sheet and if you want to protect the sheet you can able to protect the sheet